Good morning, Frank and Jessica. You know, a lot of folks here and business owners say not only is this an eyesore, however, they're also complaining that there has been crime as well as other issues from this homeless encampment you see right here. This is on First Street at the plaza. Now, city workers put up a chain link fence, a barricade around this growing homeless encampment at 430 this morning. We've been following all of that action. Now, advocates showed up. They're putting up a fight saying the city's programs are failing unhoused people. We know that people are contracting COVID in the congregate shelters. We know that people feel like they're being abused in those spaces. Uh, they feel dehumanized, they feel criminalized. And so we want uh, permanent supportive housing. And during the ongoing pandemic, the number of unhoused people in tents have skyrocketed here at Toriyumi Plaza in Little Tokyo. It's at the corner of First Street. The city closed off this area for maintenance, landscaping, and electrical repairs. You can hear and see all of that action as the city workers are putting up those barricades. J-Town Action and Solidarity, they're battling this crackdown by the city with a call to action. They're protesting this morning for a sweep defense here in Little Tokyo. Organizers say many of their families were subjected to life in Japanese-American internment camps, and that's part of the reason why they're here advocating for the unhoused in these deplorable conditions. Over the last year, they've been working with with We the Unhoused and provided hundreds of hot meals and supplies every Saturday morning to people living, living here at the plaza. They're now demanding the city keep this area open, give them permanent housing and services, proposing that the city uses the more than $1 billion that's used for policing for the unhoused instead. Now, the flip side of this story, LA's Homeless Services Authority, they're telling us they've helped 55 people here find shelter and gave 185 people connections to substance abuse, mental health, housing, and COVID-related services. The city plans to permanently close this plaza with those fences at 10 o'clock uh, tonight. That's why there's a big rush, uh, as you see, to try to help these unhoused people. Back out here live, uh, once again, several business owners say um, they are welcoming this help from the city to close off this area. Reporting live here in Little Tokyo, Gene Kang, KTLA 5 News. Back to you.